Hey YouTube, um, when we posted Chrissy Lee Polis' video, something kind of disturbing happened that I think Jamie really wanted to talk about, and that was the fact that people started blaming the race of Chrissy Lee's attackers on, on what happened, as if they beat her because they were black. And both of us felt that that really needed to be addressed because no, those two kids beat her because they're mean kids. It had nothing to do with their race. And a lot of the people who made those comments identified themselves as gay people. And to me, to Jay, both of us, it kind of blows our mind, you know? We know that the gay community is made up of all different kinds of people that come from all different walks of life. And when you have that, you're going to have the best of society and the worst of society. You're going to have everybody. You know, and a lot of different viewpoints. So it makes sense that there are going to be some racist people in the gay community too. Um, that said, it still kind of blows our mind that anybody that knows what it feels like to be discriminated against can turn around and throw discrimination at somebody else. Um, we had people say that <clears throat> it was Chrissy's fault that she got beaten because she's trying to live a, as a woman and use the women's restroom, which I think is also kind of a really you know, an awful thing to say, considering all she was trying to do was just be herself in the same way that we as gay people are just being who we are in here. Um, she wasn't hurting anybody. She was just trying to use the bathroom and did not deserve what happened to her. And I think blaming her is a, a pretty crappy thing to do. Now, I wrote, I wrote a blog post on this because it's a lot easier for me to express myself in words than it is in front of the camera. Um, but the fact of the matter is that if we want to move forward as a community, we're not going to do it by expecting acceptance for ourselves, but not giving it to other groups of people. You know, I've seen a lot of trans people who will march with us in parades and be there for protests and fight for our rights, and gay people who call them names, you know, and make fun of them, and I think that's just kind of kind of awful, you know? They're in the exact same boat that we are. All of us are fighting together for the same things. And I think we need to learn the lesson of our own lives and realize that just because somebody might be a different race from us, possibly a different religion, um, maybe it's sexual identity issues instead of sexual orientation issues, like the difference between gay and trans. But we gotta learn that all of us are fighting one fight, and that's to be treated as human beings. So that's my soapbox sermon for today. And um, I hope people will take it to heart and realize that underneath what's on the outside, we're all the same on the inside. See you later, YouTube. And I believe that our love found its way through the current as the way